So here's the thing. When you're communicating with somebody and you say, hey, how did that last thing work out with Johnson & Johnson Corporation? And you're like, well, you know what? I would never use them again because, boy, here's what happened. It was terrible. Okay, well, first of all, it is okay for you to go ahead and, and uh, listen to what the bad experience was. But you have to finish it off fairly quickly because you don't want people to feel too stupid for long. You need them to feel a little stupid. It's kind of like guilt or any other emotion. People say, oh, guilt is a bad emotion. That's not true. Guilt is a really valuable emotion. Guilt is what causes you to have a conscience. You must experience guilt, and it's really valuable for every single person that you do business with or you're in a relationship with to experience guilt too. It's how we know that something is right or wrong. So when people talk to you about some new age philosophy about you know, not to experience guilt or shame or envy, there's plenty of times that you need to experience all of those things. The the thing is though, it's not for long because it doesn't do you any good if you have the bad feeling for too long. So when you're talking to your future client, your future girlfriend, your future boyfriend, whoever, it's, whoever it is, you want to make sure that when they're telling you about their past experience with someone like you, which is the reason they're talking to you, because they failed every other time they had a service working for them, had pizzas delivered, whoever it was. They failed all those times. They failed every single time. And it's critical for you then to intervene and say, you know what? I can see why you're really frustrated. Write this down. I can see why you're really frustrated or upset or irritated or why you've been going crazy, any of those kind of things. What is it that you think you need to see for you to feel more comfortable with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, with, uh, with, with somebody who's going to take care of your house or, or whatever the, the, the project or business is. And then you then get them to tell you that criteria. And now you say, okay, so if I was able to do that, would I be the right person for you? And it's that simple. So the person needs to feel as though they've made the blunder because they have. And it's really important the person doesn't make the same mistake yet again. It's really important that you don't contribute to the mistake that they're going to make again. You want to make sure that you're there to repair all of their past experiences. So this is why you're here. It's why you're in front of them right now. Always remember it's because they were foolish. They were foolish. They were foolish. It's okay to allow them to experience it for a very short period of time. And then you want to make sure that they know that other people will not see them as foolish or stupid for working with you, for being with you, for being in a relationship with you. Because nothing is more important. It's not what that person thinks of you or your company. It's what they think their friends will think, their family will think of you. That's what matters. You're not convincing or persuading them. That's easy. All you have to do is say, do you agree? Yes. Okay, that's done. But the part of them that represents all of the people who are going to say, I told you so, shouldn't have done it, I knew you shouldn't, I told you you shouldn't, all those kind of things, okay, that group of people, the people that usually destroy other friend, their friends' lives, all right, here's the deal. Those are the people that this person has in their mind when you're asking them if it's okay to do business with you, to go out with you, to be involved in a relationship with you, to, to work with you on a project, any of those things. So you have to make sure that they know in their mind that they're going to be telling you shortly that you you are the person who is going to make them look good in front of all of the rest of their family and friends, the people at the office. That's what's critical. It's not about how they feel inside. It's about what they're going to feel when their friends and family and coworkers have talked to them about you and your business or you as a person to be involved with in a relationship. Cool? Okay, guys. I'll see you next time.